Good evening. <laughs> um, so, unboxing. Welcome to a yellow face vlog. Um, I could have waited until tomorrow, but I really want to start this tonight, even though I'm, like, literally about to go to bed. I mean, I am in bed, but... Anyway, um, I'm very excited to read Yellow Face, so I'm starting this uh, vlog now. We're really doing vloggy style for this. Let's see if I can keep it up. No promises, no promises. Anyway, Yellow Face, what do we know? Um, it's supposedly hard hitting and about the publishing industry. So there we go. <laughs> um, basically, um, what's her name? Um, June something. Um, she kind of steals her best friend who is in an accident. Uh, she steals her manuscript and sort of like get that breakthrough that she's been wanting. That's a very bad explanation of what the book is about. But um, that's what I'm getting... That's what I'm getting. That's what you're guessing from me now. Um, I shall be back tomorrow when I'm more clear-headed. Something like that. Um, and, you know, kind of summarise the blog. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is weird. Uh, mm, bye. Morning. Um, I want to update. So... I only read the first chapter last night. Why is this so wibbly wobbly? It's been a bit crooked. Cool. So I only read the first chapter and basic first impression. So Athena seems like a bit of a dick, let's say. And um, like a spoiled little brat kind of a person. Because she seems to just have gotten everything. I mean, everything just seems to have gone her way. Um, no hurdles there. And then June, um, well, she's obviously jealous. But she's also dealing with it. So, there's that. And <laughs> so, we basically, it basically starts with, well, the first line of the book... Hang on. So the first line says, The night I watch Athena Lou die, we're celebrating her TV deal with Netflix. So, I mean, she dies straight away. The way she dies. <laughs> so they're having like a pancake eating contest. And she chokes to death on a pancake. Well, probably several pancakes. Is it really weird I want pancakes now? The first impressions, I love it. It's dark humour and, uh, yeah. Dark humour, we love. I'm very excited to uh, read. It's actually a lot, like, smaller than I initially thought it was going to be. For some reason, I was expecting Babel sized. I don't know why, but I'm actually glad it's not because it's going to be a quick read. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Chapter 2. So, this book is so fast paced so far. I mean, I'm only read two chapters, but you know, you know. It's so fast paced so far, and I'm loving it. It's just like. Whew, Yes, so June doesn't like set out to steal the manuscript and also the first impression I got from chapter one was that the manuscript was finished. It apparently was not. Um, it wasn't like even a first draft kind of a deal according to June uh, and there's loads of like gaps where you need to insert certain things. Great explanation. So Athena was like, she writes on a typewriter on like 
proper paper no technology whatsoever <laughs> anyway she writes on a typewriter so everything's like hard copy so june apparently made it off with this manuscript i missed this part where she ended up with it in her bag so like the last sentence in chapter one is like the manuscript is in june's bag june isn't really grieving but she is <laughs> <laughs> and she's not. They weren't that close friends, so it's not like she's missing a bit part of her everyday life or something like that. It's so funny, I love this book. <sighs> June goes to uh, Athena's funeral because her mum phones and is like, well you need to come, basically. And June was like, oh she's cool to tell me that I killed her daughter. <sighs> so June kind of takes some time off her work. Um, so she's like a tutor. She kind of takes some time off and then she starts, eventually she starts reading this manuscript and she's so like enthralled in it um, that she just starts inputting it into her laptop and you know, that kind of deal. And then she kind of works non-stop to enter all these like empty spaces that Athena left for one reason or another. Apparently she didn't intend to steal the manuscript. She was like, well, I can just publish it in her name, basically, like in Athena's name or something like that. But then she goes like, but Athena didn't leave specific instructions that I was allowed to do this and so on and so forth. So she kind of just submits the manuscript that she's been working on too. So I don't know how much between the two. So she kind of submits it and it's like, it's blowing up. It's blowing up. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if the camera will pick up the neighbor's music as well as I can hear it because if it can, I'm going to get demonetized before I even have a chance to get monetized. Let's just talk loudly. I finished. I finished Yellow Face. Oh, so many things. Mm, honestly, if you haven't read this book yet, you really need to read this book because the way Kuang writes, it's just, ooh, honestly, ooh. Following along June, because we're all like up in June's perspective, all up in her head and her mind and whatnot. The way Kuang writes really makes us like, start thinking the way June is thinking. So June is very much like trying to justify her bad behavior basically. So she'll do one thing that isn't necessarily that great, but then she'll like justify it and turn it around being like, but everybody does that, so I should too. Basically that, not really in those words, but basically that. And it's, it's so wrong, but the way Kwang writes, it really makes you think that it's so right. Mm. Oh, it's such a good book. Such a good book. This book deserves all the hype it's been getting and more. And the fact that it's not that thick, it's a very short book considering. Um, especially since I was kind of expecting a Babel sized book when it came to this one as well. Especially when I saw the package and it kind of looked huge. That's what she said. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words, I'm not gonna lie. It really is all these things that it says on the back. Intriguing, racial, sharp, a wild ride. Yes, it is a wild ride. Satirical and humorous, yes. Racial, sharp, wet, one you can't put down. True, true. Hotly tipped satire with white privilege and identity also true the thriller everyone is going to be talking about when i read that part i was like what do you mean thriller <laughs> this is a thriller yes it kind of is but it doesn't really take up the thriller part until like 
midway through but until then you're still getting like massiveness so i mean kwang's writing is fantastic i really need to read more of her books i need to read the poppy war i don't know has she written more than the poppy war and babel and this one i don't know i should know i don't know anyway i need to read all all her work really basically truly yes the posing of the like should you write what you're not <laughs> That made no sense. Like, should you, as a white person, write an Asian character, for instance? Um, I mean, yes, because otherwise we're just, like, putting ourselves in a corner and, like, backing ourselves into a corner, being unable to do anything. Because if we can't write, like, outside of what we are, then there would be no alien stories, there would be no robots, there would be no blue aliens and you know what I mean about blue aliens and there would be none of that because we would just write like the human that we are and where would that be? Boring ass books, that's what I said. There would be no Faye which is all the rage at the moment so you know, you know you know you know so i know like parts of like the publishing side of things because this book is very much like the publishing side of things and i know very few <laughs> bits and pieces of it like it's just not here's a manuscript and here's a finished book it doesn't work like that i mean i think we all know, know that by now it takes some it takes some time from like the idea to the manuscript to the finished product and the book tours that we all love don't we yeah we do it made me want to know more about all the aspects which hopefully i will soon it really makes you think of how many steps there are before like that whole thing before this book before you have the book in your hand that we get to read and love and sometimes hate if that's the thing but hopefully mostly love take so many steps for it to become real, for, for it to become something. Oh, this is gonna be a bitch to edit, I just know, because I've been waffling for like 14 minutes and it's not gonna be a 14 minute long clip. Basically, book good, read book. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, thank you for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye-bye.